Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your weeklies for June 14th into the 18th, 2021. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box below. So let's get started here. We are going to do for each zodiac sign here, we are going to start off with water signs first, more specifically Scorpio. Uh, guys, please take the time to smash that like button as well as share, comment down below. And as always, I truly appreciate it when you do timestamp as well. It helps me out greatly. Let's get into it here. Let's start off first with the sign of Scorpio. What does the sign of Scorpio need to know for this coming week? Hello. In regards to June 14th. And clarify that. That's quite interesting. Some kind of energy in regards to communication came to a close. Absolutely. Uh, you have the Ten of Swords followed by the World card. Now, I did clarify the World card. That is a completion. Both of them are. But that's a major arcana. So some serious communication got seriously cut off. I feel that somebody is going to be coming back. Uh, fire versus fire. So definitely a lot of fire here, Leo, Aries, Sag. But I do feel that somebody is taking charge is what I'm feeling and communicating. They could be coming back with that page of... Uh, wands energy kind of playful that to me is a very playful flirty kind of energy but they are going to take charge here in regards to communicating yet again right out there is what that tells me absolutely so interesting energy does not have to be you definitely don't have to be dealing with fire but a lot of action could be coming back very playful as well but they mean what they say is what they're saying here so it's not just like they come back kind of, uh, you know, playful energy, but it's kind of like, oh, you're just joking around. No, I'm serious. You know, I want to put the work back in, in regards to getting to know you, that song, getting to know you. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, so I hope that that helps Scorpio. Let's move on to cancer here. What does a sign of cancer need to know at this time for June 14th until the 18th, 2021? Could be dealing with a Gemini here, but a very, very strong connection with the Lovers as well as the Six of Cups. That's very strong here. This one's going to come out. Oh my goodness, could definitely be dealing with a Twin Flame. Okay, two different messages is what I'm feeling here. This is definitely a twin flame with the lovers here, the six of cups. So that's a very strong connection between you two and the four of wands. That right there is twin, okay? Now, the first message is this has been very, very stressful with the seven of swords. Uh, it's time to, I feel that somebody uh, is coming to a completion. They're backsies towards each other. So they've been kind of in their head. They're stressing out. In regards to this twin flame, I'm feeling that it's not you. I'm feeling that it's the person whom you're dealing with here. Kind of uh, walked away here. They got in their head. They ended things. And now they're heading towards Nine of Cups. You know, things came to a close, but they're heading towards getting that wish fulfillment in regards to a relationship and love. Now, in regards to the second energy, very, very strong here. I do feel that somebody was involved with the third party. Not everybody's going to be in that situation or, uh, which is kind of similar in a way, but I feel it's kind of one time thing, one time thing I keep hearing. So definitely somebody, uh, cheated. Okay. Is what I'm feeling. Uh, that came to a completion. I'm feeling that this person already knows that they cheated here and they decided to walk away. But what they don't know is that this person is coming back to get their wish fulfillment, basically seeing the truth of the matter. I literally keep hearing it was just a one-time thing. Mm -hmm, mm, 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 mm. Uh, I'm only the messenger here. Uh, but that's what it feels like. It feels like they're returning to drop the burdens to say, hey, look, it was just a one-time thing, whatever. I'm not going to comment on that. But regardless... It's been very, very stressful, absolutely, but I do feel that whomever is resonating with this 
you're getting your wish fulfillment. They are coming back. Now, whether you take them back or not, that's totally up to you. We all have free will, free choice, and everybody's different. So I hope that that helps. That was quite interesting there, Cancer. All right, moving on to Pisces. <clears throat> Could be dealing with Earth sign energy with that King of Pentacles. Got the sun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And clarify the King of Swords, please. Somebody feels that they uh, made a big boo-boo. I feel that they definitely cut off communication with this person, okay? Uh, I feel that they did you wrong. I'm also feeling that um, they, they know that they did you wrong. They want to come back. They are very balanced now. They now see the truth of the matter. They know what they want with that sun. That's known as the yes card. I do feel, yes, they are going to make a decision to come on back. But there was some serious lack of communication for quite some time, especially with that. Okay. I, I feel a lot of guilt here. Is what going is what's going on here is kind of like they didn't want to speak, you know, they didn't know what they want, you know. Uh, but I feel it's kind of like, nope, I have to fix this lack of communication. I feel like I did this person wrong, and now I want to make things right, and that's returning, kind of rushing in. Could be definitely coming in unannounced, okay, out of the blue energy as well. Uh, they were kind of indecisive to be able to return, to communicate is what I'm feeling. But I feel a lot of guilt here in regards to, uh, you know, I need to fix this. I need to do the right thing and return. That's why that sudden impulse energy here of rushing in for whoever that was meant for. So they, they mean it now. You know, they see the light. They see the truth. They want to make things right again, especially with that King of Pentacles looking right at that sun. So interesting. Cool. Fire. Specifically Leo. All right. What does the sign of Leo need to know for this coming week? June 14th until the 18th. There is some kind of success in regards to returning. In regards to communication. Oh, to start anew. I just literally heard with the fool here. They feel foolish. So that that can happen. Yeah, they want bygones to be bygones. They want a do-over, basically. Yeah, the mental anguish of it all is done. These, 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 this person basically also got in their head as well. But you have the completion of the tense here in regards to mental anguish, no more. I want a new start. I want to make things right again. It must be in the air. That's very similar to, uh, who was that? That was Pisces, I believe. But definitely success coming about in regards to somebody starting anew in regards to lack of communication, rushing in now to make bygones be bygones and fix things between these two people. Very similar energies, I got to say, Leo, uh, with Cancer. I think it was Cancer. Uh, all right, so moving on to Aries. Five of Swords. So somebody I feel instantly, instantly, yeah. Somebody has been really, really in their head, not really knowing what to do. They are really stressed out. They can't stop thinking about this person. Let's move on here in regards to have that turnaround effect. What exactly are you going to do here? Trying to make a decision in regards to a lot of heartbreak. They miss this person big, big, big time. I just want to cry. Yeah, I feel that somebody wants to put in the work. They're making me add the three of, or the two of pentacles with that ace of pentacles and put in the work to, to heal a situation. Now, I also feel, because it is a general, uh, for whomever it is this meant for, I feel that, well, they're correcting me. Yes, they're definitely missing this person. Yes, they're definitely thinking of this person and very stressed out as well. But they're making me subtract the five of swords with the nine here. So it's kind of like they are trying. They can't get them off their head. Boy, this is really specific. Somebody out there. Uh, four of swords is known for kind of sleeping, kind of calm at night. Can't seem to stop thinking about them at night here. They want a new start. They truly, truly miss this person. Now, I also feel not just you, but I feel the opposing person, the person whom you're thinking about here is feeling the same exact way. Things weren't done. Boy, this is really 
getting some strong messages here. Things weren't left on a good note is what I just heard. Wow. So that is definitely meant for somebody and they want to put in the work and they just want to talk to this person, just want to fix things because something wasn't right. It wasn't left the right way. It, it's wrong. It's wrong. It was done wrong. Somebody needs to speak up and communicate and fix things is what that tells me. Wow. Aries, what's going on, man? All right. Sag here. Sag. What does Sag need to know? Coming out of confusion and moving Moving forward in regards to a decision of something that was extremely confusing, I feel, with the moon, eight of wands heading right towards a decision to drop the burdens. Now, they are making me subtract the eight from the ten of wands. That's a two of, a two of wands. That's a decision of showing the action. So somebody, I feel, is going to show the action. Ooh, could be dealing with a twin, could be dealing with an Aries as well, but somebody's somebody's manhandling okay is what that tells me enough already i'm going to take charge of the situation i know what i want i'm having movement here in regards to dropping the burdens and let's just do it already and show the action of a very confusing situation by showing the action coming in pretty quickly too i might say with the eight of wands that's fast movement fast communication so somebody's beehiving it to somebody out there in regards to communication and showing that action a lot of fire a lot of wands that could definitely be you here but regardless let's move on air sign uh gemini let's see what gemini needs to know Gemini, June 14th until the 18th, 2021. Please show me. Whoopsie. You go there. Somebody is very perplexed in their thoughts, I feel. Ooh. Oopsie. There we are. Hang on, Gemini. I'm sorry. Huh. <laughs> huh. Huh. That's funny. All right, so well, I just got a weird message. I'm sorry. Uh, I feel that somebody truly loves you, Gemini. I feel that this is more so your energy here, kind of stuck on, they're singing Lionel Richie, stuck on you. Uh, but it's kind of like what just happened. I'm in my head. I can't stop thinking about you. I'm stressed out. Somebody has been, this is a turnaround effect here because they're back. See, it's okay, just to prove it here. So somebody also is thinking about you as well, I feel. They truly do love you. You could be dealing with water here, but I literally heard um, uh, long enough. This has been going on long enough. They're not, the King Cups is known for love, yes, water, yes. But he's really the type that does not know how to open up and express. And I feel that somebody has been kind of restricting their own energy in regards to expressing how they feel. And I literally feel the person that you're dealing with here literally says to themselves, this has been long enough, okay? Holding back here. Yeah, taking charge. Emperor, wow. Uh, could be dealing with uh, Aries too, okay? But really, it's about taking charge enough already of not, you know, expressing how I truly feel. Now, the Emperor is a very take charge kind of dude. And he's literally, his eyes are looking right at that temperance. So, uh, once again, more fire here. <coughs> Excuse me. But I do feel that it's long enough. And somebody's taking charge of this situation and opening up. Now, I do feel a lot of uh, telepathic communication going on between these two. So be careful with your thoughts, whoever is resonating with this, because I do feel that they can hear you. You know, you might be saying, you know, I miss you. I'm stressed out here. Uh, but you also could be cursing. <laughs> Sorry, that that's the way I would handle it. <laughs> but no, don't, you don't know that. Uh, but no, but seriously, be careful what you're thinking, okay? Because I do feel that they can feel your energy, okay? Regardless. So be careful what you're thinking, seriously. Uh, I do feel that your counterpart, whether it's Aries here, you know, Emperor energy, Twin Flame here, somebody is definitely restricting, holding back how they feel. And I feel that they know. They know they need to hold, they, they, they know they need to come out and communicate and show the action. He's fire, emperor's fire. So show the action, dude, and express. And I really feel that your counterpart, regardless of sign, regardless if it's twin or not, 
is can hear your thoughts absolutely and i feel that that's actually going to encourage them but that's also putting in the back of their mind here that I, this is long enough. I need to open up, and that's what I'm feeling. So be careful with your thoughts, okay? Don't be a Deb. <laughs> we won't get into that. Libra, my sister from another mother. All right, Libra, what does Libra need to know? Ooh, there's the Libras. Somebody is definitely manifesting. Aw. Oh, wow. Okay. All righty. Uh, it's kind of like they're manifesting. They're thinking things over. You know, it's kind of like, how do I put this? My dad had this favorite, favorite expression, story time. Uh, but it's basically, he used to say to me, Deb, if the problem that you're thinking about that you're stressing over is it really going to matter 30 years down the road? Like, I feel like somebody is mad. Okay. And they're fed up and they're thinking about this person. And it's kind of like, if the problem is going to exist and really bother you 30 years down the road, then don't worry about it. That's, I mean, my dad phrased it differently. Uh, but if, if it can be fixed, you know, then do it. You know, if it's not a big deal, then don't stress about it. You know, something happened, I feel, in the past that bothered you. And it's kind of like now you're realizing that it's not a big deal anymore. You know, it's nothing to be stressed out over here. Okay. Because what you do feel is true love for this person. And that's the bottom line. That's actually kind of resonating with me as well, in a sense. Uh, it's kind of coming to a completion in regards to what we think is what we create. It, it's not a big deal. The past is a past for a reason. Elton John used to say all the time, uh, the past is the past for a reason. I live for the future. And it's kind of like I've come to that completion of accepting that type of person in regards to whatever they did to me in the past is done. I'm settled. I'm settled with my thoughts. I'm over it, you know, but I miss them. You know, I feel that there's some serious changes going on with you. Okay, and literally throwing that out there because you're manifesting, throwing that out there of actually missing them and saying, hey, it's okay. Whatever happened in the past, I'm okay with it now. I'm over it, you know, and I'm moving forward. But I do miss this person. You're actually drawing them back. Fives are known for a change here. And it's literally looking right at that four swords. And with that magician here, you're definitely manifesting this person back saying, hey, like telepathically saying, hey, you know, I forgive you. It, what's done is done. I've moved on and it's fine now. You know, good. It's maturing energy. It's really good energy here. I feel that whoever is resonating with this is actually drawing them back in. They can actually hear your thoughts. You're transporting that telepathically to that person. So yet again, kind of, I think it was Gemini that I said that about, but be careful with your thoughts, absolutely, because you are generating uh, them back into your life again by manifesting and thinking about them and saying, hey, it's okay now, I'm, I'm settled, I'm fine with whatever happened, you know, so interesting message, I gotta say, eh, quite interesting, all right, moving on to Aquarius, what does the sign of Aquarius need to know for June 14th? Nope, too many. You guys have uh, Aquarius here. You guys have the Five of Cups. Aww. Clarify the Five of Cups, please. Uh, the Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Somebody wants to start anew. Somebody wants forgiveness as well is what I'm feeling. Somebody really, truly misses this person and wants, you know, the, the Five of, yeah. The, the Five of Cups is known for a change in regards to a relationship. They want forgiveness forgiveness, sorry. They want things to be dropped, okay? They don't want to miss this person anymore. The, out of the uh, the four pages, the page of pentacles and the page of cups is actually to me known as an apology here. Uh, they want a new start. It's in the back of their head here. They really, really want to move forward with this person. Let bygones be bygones and move forward because they truly miss this person. The end. That's what, I love those straightforward messages. But yeah, that's exactly what that tells me. So, 
Earth sign. Woo, Virgo. Uh, popping on out. Virgo. The confusion is done. There is definitely a decision in regards to a relationship here that is going to take place, I feel. The Seven of Cups is known for an option. Uh, there was an option. You know, they got in their head. You know, but that that came to a completion. The confusion has come to a completion is what that says here. And somebody is making a final choice, a decision here with the Two of Wands. That's showing the action in regards to the Two of Cups, which is this relationship. Yeah, there was once a cutout energy with the Queen of Swords. Uh, kind of like, you know what, if you're not going to give me uh, the respect and that I deserve, sorry for talking like a Deb here, but the Knight of Wands is kind of in and out energy. I'm going to cut you out, you know. Uh, I feel that that's the opposing person. Boy, it just got complicated here. Hang on. I'm feeling that confusion of, okay, let's, let's just talk Deb. Sometimes I just like talking Deb and not cards. What I'm feeling here is, is bait, oh, exactly, ultimate, yeah, that big word. Uh, and you know I don't say big words. <laughs> so you know it came right from my spirit guide. All right, so what this tells me is that somebody was zigzagging with their energy in regards to showing the action and not showing the action. And somebody basically said, enough, enough. Enough is enough already, my son. You know, I'm tired of this in and out energy in regards to this relationship here. You know, so they made they made a choice, a decision to show the action to say, see ya. You know, the Queen of Swords is known for cut out energy. She's the cut out queen. I'm tired of the, oh, I can't say that word. But it's kind of like I'm tired of the in and out energy here. Okay. Now, what happened when you, when you did that, when you cut them out, all right, when things came to a close, they really got in their head. They're like, what just happened? You know, now I also feel in the same sense that somebody now is coming to a completion in regards to realizing how they were acting, how they were treating this person. Boy, these are direct messages. But definitely I feel that there's definite action now in regards to something that came to a close because, you know, sometimes we need that slap across the face, you know, uh, to realize what's really right in front of us. And that's what it feels like to me enough talking them that that's what it feels like so i feel that by them doing that of uh, them saying look if you're not going to give me 110 percent which this is not this is not okay i'm i'm done with you is what that says and i feel that that is what that that slap across the face is saying is oops you know I need to show more effort. I am out of that confusion. I'm going to show the action here in regards to this relationship and mean it like a real man should. Okay, a little bit more Deb there. All right, but that's what it feels like, you know? So I hope that that helps. Wow. These readings are intense. I feel like private readings here. All right, Taurus. Sun. I love it when the sun comes out, literally. Fool. Ooh, somebody wants a do-over. The sun is known as very positive, upbeat, okay? Um, and it's known as the yes card, too. So somebody, I feel, wants a new start here. Ooh, page of cups, ace of cups. Very, 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 very similar energy to another sign. I can't remember who it is, obviously. But there's a new beginning coming about in regards to, could be an apology as well with that Page of Cups. Uh, like I said in the other spread, I can't remember who it was, but the Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles is known for an apology. So they want to do over here in regards to offering that cup of love. But this is nice, Taurus. Definitely sweet. So I hope that that helps. Moving on. I love those straightforward answers. Capricorn. Sorry, guys. This is an interesting message. I can already feel it here. Two pentacles, temperance. Yeah. I'm taking it. Two pentacles, temperance here. Hangman, king of wands. Could be dealing with fire, Leo, Aries, Sag, and the four of cups. <laughs> uh, trying to be making a decision for quite some time. 
<coughs> excuse me, uh, you know, kind of up and down energy by this person. Now, it's kind of wild because I literally saw, it felt like the King of Wands is fire, yes, but he's literally turned looking at the hangman. And back in the day, long time ago, uh, I laugh about it now, but I was kind of like, what? Uh, my dad always used to say, Deborah, sometimes it's like talking to a wall. <laughs> I still loved my father. <laughs> but this decision has been going back and forth in their head. It's been taking way too long to show the action. Now, this is where it gets interesting, guys. In the back of this head, not only does he feel like he doesn't, or she, sorry, uh, it is general. But it's kind of like, well, I'm not feeling the love anymore. And it's kind of like a pouting energy. Could, literally, like this dude right here against the tree is pouting. You know, it's like, oh, well, I, I don't, I don't have, you know, any attention anymore. I'm not getting this love anymore from this person. Well, dude, it's kind of like, look at you. You're looking at a wall, you know? It's like, why are you looking at a wall if you love this? Oh, boy, here comes the deb in me. If you love this person, offer it. Oh, I want to, I want to know what he's going to do. I'm sorry. I'm part cat. Clarify that hangman. Offer it. Offer it. So that stagnation of all this, it's kind of like, get the kahugas, dude. You know? Sorry, I'm getting wound up. But it's like, get a kahugas here of showing the action. Stop staring at the wall. Offer that love. Now they're making me add, thank you, the four of cups with that ace of cups. That's a five of cups. You miss them. You big dummy. You miss the person. Offer the cup of love is what that tells me. And I do feel that they are going to, is it going to be this week? I already feel that it's going to be, um, I already feel like it's already taken some time, but I still feel, unfortunately, oh man, it's time to chop down that wall. Uh, you know, to make a final decision of waiting. Hello, McFly. You know, that's what it feels like. You love this person, then just gr grow some, you know, and offer it. They miss you too. I'm sorry, I don't mean to get wound up, but I can feel this energy of, don't you see it? No, I'm staring at a wall. Stop staring at the wall and offer the cup of love. Do I feel like it's going to be this week? I don't feel it's going to be this week. I feel with all these, these are kind of like just still waiting here. When they realize that what they're staring at is an actual wall, I do feel that they are going to offer that cup of love. I do feel that there is going to be a change of them showing the action, regardless if they're fire or not. Wow, this, this bugger made me mad. The, and this one wants to come out. So definitely I feel that there is happiness coming here. Do I feel that it's going to be this week? No. But I feel like somebody seriously needs to know that they are thinking about you. And they do want to offer that cup of love. Because they do love you. It's very stubborn energy. You know. But I feel in the long run. See? Three of cups. Ace of cups. Again. And that just proves they're going to come back and they're going to offer that cup of love. It's a lot of stubborn energy, I got to say, is what I'm feeling. So interesting energy, Capricorn. I don't know who that was for, but that, that one, that bugger irritated me. Get away from the wall, my son. You know. All right. So let's, let's wrap this up. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. If you aren't subscribed, please take the time to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I truly appreciate you guys. I hope you guys have a great and safe week this week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.